Hey, what's up guys? This is Duncan and usual here for cyber school, trying to bring you guys some more information to help you with your PCs. Now we've been getting a lot of requests for this. And so I felt it was just something to address, but we wanted to actually talk about hard drives today. A lot of people were asking, how do you install a second hard drive? And for some people, they don't really need it. And sometimes they buy externals, but also sometimes feel, people feel comfortable because kind of like installing it inside the PC. I mean, you can put anything in a PC. This, I mean, it's just a lot easier. Come on, man. Do you really need it inside the PC? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the C-series that we have here, a little bit better than the vapor that we've been using. We're going to pop the top off. But wait, where's the hard drive? Wow, that is small. Look at that thing. This is, this is what carries all your information, all your Pornhub track. I mean, all your important data that you need to make sure that you get the files to Thompson on time. You know, those files. So anyway, guys, with the SSD drive, there's other drives out there too, like the HDD, which is basically a hard drive disk. You know, the big metal ones that look like they should be in a giant size machine to fight monsters and destroy, you know, I'm just sidetracking myself. Anyway, so with an SSD drive, these are smaller than an HDD. These are actually more compact, so it allows you to, you know, not take up so much space and trying to find those bays that you're used to offering you guys to build what you want. So what we're gonna do first is uh, open up the case here. So anyway, you guys, you're gonna wanna take the top off. So as usual, slide it forward. You gotta pop it. Oh, look at that. Now, remember, you always wanna be careful too with, you know, the wires that you have going right here, like, you know, connecting. So make sure you don't rip off the top for everything. I know what I'm doing. Just right there, right there. So now, as you guys can see, this is the hard drive right here. Now, as you saw earlier, we had the other hard drive. This is the one that came with the PC. Now, mounting the second hard drive is actually something that you want to make sure that you have enough space for. For us, it's actually easy because what we can do is shift this over and push it to the left. But for safety purpose reasons, we're not going to remove this and you know mess with it and pull it out. But for your reasons which, you know, you want to know how to do it. I'll explain it a little bit better. First, what you want to do is actually look for this wire right here. This is a SATA wire. Now, get in there, you can see it. A little SATA wire right here. A little thing at the back of it. Now, a SATA wire is what connects uh, the motherboard and the hard drive together, allowing it to, you know, process. The other part that it goes into is actually right in here. It's right there. Now, if you look, well, it's a little bit harder. So let's see if we can get up. There you go. See? Now, you can see right in here, there's actually the slots for the SATA to plug into. So it's plugging into right there. So you guys see it? It's going to go all the way up there. That thing right there. So, but anyway, what you want to do, take the SATA drive, make sure that it connects to the wire right back where it is. Also, it will have a power source to the battery. That's the other part that you'll see right here on the SATA cable. Most PCs will have them. You can see it, little colored wires right back there. But anyway. What you want to do is connect these two right here, find the position that you want to put it. For us, if we really wanted to, we could have just pushed this over, connected it right here. Sometimes you can actually connect it to other parts of the case as long as it's away from other stuff that can actually overheat, fry your hard drive. You know, it takes a lot, you know, but this is also plastic. It's not metal like the old ones used to be. So guys, make sure that you don't just, you know, put it here or on this thing or, you know, the does not mesh if you just put it into this. It's not like a, a cartridge that you just keep trying to force in and you have to blow it and then eventually get tired of it. Like, fine. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, you want to find the position that you're at right here. So for us, like I said, it would have been here where we probably, probably would have moved it over. Using the SATA cables that we have with the power, we would have plugged it into the port that we had. After that, pretty much good to go. Now, as the rest of you also may know too, is that with the SSD, that after you plug it in, some of them are gonna be plug and play. Now, it will require most of the times for ones that are the main hard drive to be configured, but usually you can go into your BIOS and set everything that way. The same thing can also go to the order of how it's read. If you go into your BIOS, you hit escape, delete, depending on the BIOS or motherboard that you have, will take you to there and it'll show you the priority of how they boot. But usually if you add a second hard drive, all you have to really do is make sure that you add it, format it, and you're ready to go. It's pretty simple like that, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please go down below, like, comment, all that fun stuff, subscribe to the channel. And guys, my name has been Duncan, and this has been Cyrus Cole. Have a good one.